Thank you very much, Chris. Good morning. Uh, my name is Gary Blenner. Uh, as Chris said, I teach U.S. History and American Government at Rio Maracano High School. And I'm here today to stand as a candidate for the Sacramento County Board of Supervisors, District 4. Ever since the housing bubble in California began to burst in 2006, the Sacramento area economy has been in a downward spiral ever since. People have ended up losing their homes, their jobs, and their livelihood. In 2007, the top 1% of all income earners in the United States made just 25% of all income. That is more than the bottom 50% of wage earners. One percent here, fifty percent there, but for the top wealthy that is apparently not enough. The percentage of income going to the top one percent nearly tripled in the 1970s. All over this country people are angry and frustrated. It is true all over America, especially here in Sacramento County, but one of the reasons people are angry and frustrated is they are working incredibly hard. In Sacramento there are people who don't work one job or two jobs in some cases, they're working three and four jobs trying to cobble together a meager income and living just in order to support their families. While people are working harder and harder, in, in many cases, their income is going down. The fact is 80% of all new income earned from 1980 to 2005 has gone to the top 1%. It explains why the American people are feeling angry as they should be. They are working hard, but they're not going anyplace. In some cases, as in the case of the poor and the elderly, their standard of living has actually gone down. The question we have to ask ourselves here today is what do we expect from our elected officials? And I maintain the argument that while governing includes choosing and prioritizing, it is clear from the record that our opponents, Roberta McGlashan and Susan Peters, have chosen to support the interests of the top 1%. They have chosen to uphold the needs of greedy corporate developers and other wealthy interests in the Sacramento area above and beyond those to defend the people that they were sworn to support. They have voted to cut back public services to the poor, the elderly, and the disabled, while continuing to divert millions of dollars of unnecessary construction projects that line the pocket of these greedy developers. That is why I say enough is enough. It is time for a change of direction on the Sacramento County Board of Supervisors. One of the things I'd like to accomplish is to make government more accountable to the 99%. That is why my running mate, Jeff Kravitz, and myself intend to embark on a series of 99% town hall meetings over the next few months to listen to the needs of the people of our districts and ask them what public services they want to see restored and what they want to see done on their behalf. I believe, for example, that the $98,000 salary that the Board of Supervisors make for themselves is way too much and the time of amount and energy that they that they put forward is energy that is wasted think about this there are plenty of states in our country with populations larger than sacramento county and where there's in which their state legislatures actually make less money and they work less in many states they only meet maybe 60 days every two years and they call it a day now just think about all the savings that that would have uh, for this county. That could be as much as a quarter of a million dollars. Change will only come about if we, the 99%, begin at the grassroots level and begin to stand up for ourselves. It's more than necessary to just occupy Wall Street or the banks or parks. The next stage has to be to occupy the government. I'm running for office not to punish success, as some people say, but to punish excess. It's time for the people to stand up for themselves. If we all pull together, there will be a brighter tomorrow for Sacramento's future. Thank you. Yes, sir.